Hi Scotties, this is Miss Raymond in the library. The purpose of this video is to provide an introduction to using a library database for academic research. Now, we all live in the age of Google, right? And Google is always the first place we go whenever we need any kind of information. And I have found this to be true even for school purposes, even for research um, assignments. Students always tend um, to Google their topics. And you know what? I am not here to tell you that you shouldn't use Google or that you can't use Google. I do think that Google does have its place in academic research. However, I am here to tell you that there is information beyond Google that you should take advantage of and you should know about. And that information is contained in something called a library database. So what exactly is a library database? A library database is an electronic collection of information. It's mostly articles, articles from academic journals, newspapers, and magazines, but there are also videos and images and primary source documents all contained within a library database. A database is highly organized so that you can search for and find the information you're looking for in multiple ways. And finally, a library database is paid for by the library. It's actually very, very expensive to subscribe to a library database. And so therefore, the information found in a database is not available on the internet. It's not going to come up in a Google search. Google is a good place to start, but you shouldn't stop there. It shouldn't be the only tool you use for research. It's time to broaden your horizons and try using one or more library databases. Google is meant for the general audience, right? And so it's really good for getting general information on a topic, sort of a topic overview. A library database is good when you want to go deeper and get more specific with a topic. With a Google search, you all know that the results you, re you get, you retrieve, are, are highly personalized based on who you are, where you live, and your search history. Google is using machine intelligence to track you, whereas uh, with a library database, there is no tracking. The results are not personalized at all. With a Google search, you have to always carefully evaluate the websites and the information you find because you know that anyone can put anything out there right? Um, there is a lack of control with Google, um, and anyone is allowed to publish their ideas and opinions on the internet, and so we always have to be evaluating and judging what we find to make sure that information is credible, is reliable. With the information found in a library database, that information is evaluated and is updated regularly. It's always being evaluated, so you don't have to do that work. That work has been done for you. You can trust all of the information that you find from a library database. There are no ads in a library database, as there are uh, when you pull up web websites from Google. Um, Google's great because it's free, right? Free information for everyone. We don't have to pay anything. A library database is very expensive. Uh, it's purchased by a library. And so therefore, as I mentioned before, that information is protected. It's protected by something called a paywall. And that doesn't allow us to view that information from a Google search. We have to get access directly to the library database to get to that information. Another thing that is great about a library database is that it has a whole whole bunch of tools once you're in there that you can use and one of the tools is a citation tool and so the database will create the citation for you that you can copy and paste into your bibliography. You don't have to use um, a third-party tool like MyBib or Citation Machine. The library database will create the citation for you. You may have heard me make this analogy before but researching using Google is kind of like shopping at Goodwill. You get tons of results, there's lots of information out there, it's cheap, but it's not always organized in the easiest way, and there's a lot of junk mixed in there with the good stuff. Whereas doing research using a library database 
is like shopping at Louis Vuitton, a high-end Louis Vuitton store. There's not as much there. You're not going to get as many results. It's very expensive, but the information is highly organized and easy to find. And the information is all um, high-end, high-quality, reliable, credible information. So as a student at Highland Park, how do you get to these library databases? Your teacher may have a direct link in Schoology to the databases. Otherwise, if you go to the main Highland Park School webpage and you look at the library section, there is a page called Research Resources. And if you tap on that page, that will bring you to eight or nine or ten different high school and college level databases for you to take advantage of. There is a description underneath each of the databases and information on how to log in, if, if there is a login needed. Most will not need a login. It's always a good idea to look for your topic in more than just one database. Remember, I'm on the main Highland Park webpage under Library, and I'm on the Research Resources page. Okay, Scotties, good luck with your research, and remember, the library is here to help.